an AMI-TV digital exclusive. Level playing field. Sport explained. Para ice hockey. Para ice hockey rinks are traditional ice hockey rinks, but are converted to be accessible for sledges. The ice surface is 60 meters long by 30 meters wide and is surrounded by a wall called boards. There is a center red line that divides the rink in half and two blue lines that create 30 meter defensive zones for each team. There are nine face-off dots, the main being at center ice. The nets are set in each defensive zone on opposite sides of the ice surface, four meters from the end boards. Para hockey and ice hockey use the same 2.5 centimeter by 7.6 centimeter vulcanized rubber disc, otherwise known as a puck. But some of the other equipment is quite different. The most notable is the sledge, which players use to get around the ice surface. A sledge consists of a plastic seat that's connected to a U-shaped frame made from aluminum or steel. The frame must be at least 80 centimeters in length and have a maximum height of 20 centimeters from the bottom of the seat to the ice. Beneath the seat are a set of sharpened parallel blades. The blades range from 16 to 32 centimeters. Players then strap into their seat using plastic ratchet straps for safety and comfort. The other piece of equipment that sets para ice hockey apart are the sticks, which range from 65 centimeters to 100 centimeters in length. Also, players use two sticks while on the ice. With one in each hand, the sticks are dual-ended. On one side, there are metal picks attached to help players propel themselves around the playing surface. On the other side is a curved blade that's used for handling and shooting the puck. And now you're ready to hit the ice. For more original content, visit AMI.ca.